All right, well, let's continue this series about where Californians are taking all of their equity that they have in their home and they're moving to other states for their dream lifestyle. So let's continue that series right now. Recently, I had a family, we sold their house and they moved to Montana. Now we're Facebook friends, so I see their, their posts every day. They are just loving their new lifestyle up there in Montana. Uh, they have deer in the morning, just walking through their yards. They have a few acres there, and they were all they were able to achieve that with the sale of their home here, taking that equity and paying a lot of it for cash there. And their only regret is they wish they would have done it years ago. So today's comparison will be obviously Long Beach versus Dallas, Texas. Dallas is a huge destination as to where Californians are moving to. Take that advantage, paying cash for a home or just putting a hell of a big down payment so their payment is very, very minimal. So you and your spouse are making $125,000. Now remember, this scenario does not include childcare or taxes. In order to maintain your same lifestyle in Dallas, Texas, you would need to make $75,000. What? That's a $50,000 difference. That's huge. So where is the big difference? Well, obviously we know it's going to be in the housing, but let's break it down to transportation, to groceries, utilities, healthcare, and even something else at the very end that I'm putting in brand new that you're going to want to stick around to see. So, my name is Steve Arthur, and I am a local realtor here in the Long Beach area, powered by Nationwide Real Estate Exam. And I have been helping families relocate here to the Long Beach areas while helping families achieve their dream, take advantage of all the equity that they have in their home to go live their dream lifestyle in another state. Whether it be to be closer to their family or just live a more inexpensive lifestyle while not sacrificing anything at all. And I absolutely love it when people get hold of me through this channel. So if you are thinking about relocating to the Long Beach area or you're thinking about taking advantage of the equity and you would like to talk to see some of your dream destinations, what could be possible, all you have to do is reach out to me, give me a call, shoot me a text, send an email, or just register on my website and I will personally reach out to you. All my information is down below. Now the information I get all of these stats from is from the cost of living index. Now what the cost of living index allows you to do, it allows you to compare the cost of living from one city to another city. Basically it'll let you see how far that your dollar will go. So we already know a couple who doesn't pay childcare and then you know, the taxes are put to the side right now. Making $125,000 here in Long Beach would only need to make $75,000 in Dallas to maintain that same lifestyle. But yet again, what do you think the biggest difference is? You got it, housing. Now the median price home of the house here in Long Beach is at $625,000. We're at in Dallas, it's at $215,000. That's a 64.4% difference. That is huge. So the cost of living index sets a national average at 100. So any number above 100 is obviously going to be above the national average and any number below 100 is going to be below the national average. And utilities in Dallas are right at the national average at 100, where Long Beach comes in at 97.1. So really not a difference there at all. Now this next step, transportation, I always don't want to put this one out there because Long Beach scores at a 157.9. That's pretty high above the national average. Whereas that in Dallas, it's only at a 117.1%. So it's just a little above the national average, but not even close compared to what Long Beach is. Healthcare in Dallas comes in at a 94, while Long Beach comes in at 89.4. So they are both 
really, really good healthcare communities. Now, for that new element I'm talking about, well, if you're gonna consider moving somewhere, you've got to know about pricing, you've gotta know about housing, transportation, all that kind of stuff. But you also gotta know about the weather, too. So, let me jump on my computer and let's do a side-by-side -side comparison of a yearly chart of the weather from Long Beach to Dallas. Now, May is when it starts to separate a little bit better here. You have uh, 84 to 75, where these months, April, March, were relatively the same. But May is when it starts to kick off. You're gonna get your summer months here and it's gonna start getting hotter over in Dallas. Where in May, it just stays a nice summer heat here. Pretty constant. September through October are warm. Summer, June through August, is hot. Winter, November through February, is cool to cold. And Long Beach is dry and sunny most of the year. Summer, January through August, is peak travel. So there's the weather. I hope you found this video very helpful. And if you have any questions, or if you would like to see how much equity you have in your home, to achieve your dreams out of state, all my information is down below. Until next time, take care.